Now this is Sally trying the greatest beer ever known to mankind. I want to try it too. I made all the effort to come here as well. Smells like beer. <laughs> that face. That face right there means it is a really, really good beer. We're here in Popperidge, 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 Popperidge. We, yeah. yeah, we're here in Popperidge, and we've got our bikes. Um, we're going to be cycling to this cafe called, well, it's like a little restaurant thing called. Oh my god, I forgot the name. This um, place called Indeverde. Indeverde. It's going to be underneath. I really, really, really cannot pronounce that. Um, but we know that we're here for West Vletterin beer. Um, we won't be going to the distillery because you actually can't go there um, and you, like, they don't let you in or anything like that and the only place you can get this is from this cafe place um, you might think it's crazy we've come a long way just for beer but this beer is meant to be like the best beer and it's very hard to get you can buy it in other places yeah. <laughs> thank you for not telling me while that was happening <laughs> Um, yeah, you can buy this beer from other places, but you're not meant to. Um, the monks there do not want you to resell the beer. So if you find it in other places, I've seen it in Brussels, I've seen it in Bruges, I've seen it around. Um, but you're not meant to buy it from there. So I'll respect the monks' wishes and we'll be cycling to the only place that's, you know, actually allowed to sell it, officially allowed to sell it, and that's this place. And the best way to get there is cycling. Yeah, your bike's way nicer than mine. It's cute and brown. You got the brown brown seat and brown handlebars. Continue more on my thought about West of Letterin. This beer is produced by the monks of the St. Sixth Abbey. Um, by now you probably would have heard what Trappist beer is all about. The way I figured it's more like the way that Trappist um, breweries should be. Um, they produce beer just to um, get by. They don't produce it for like profit and stuff like that. That's why they have so limited amount. They're very like secretive um, about their place. They don't like the publicity that they've been getting about how good their beer is. And in order to order this beer you have to actually call um, like months in advance you have to place an order you have to give like your rego and your um, your phone number and you can only place that order like once every few months and you can only order like one or two cases of the beer um, they only produce about 60,000 a year as well which is pretty pretty unreal so if you're in um, Brussels and you see it you'll probably see a bottle go for like 18 euro is what I saw it. I think the cheapest I saw it was like 10 euro which is pretty unbelievable for a beer um, but that's not what they want. They don't want you to resell it. They make you promise not to resell it when you buy it off them. So um, I think I'd rather just like, I think I'd rather just do it as it was intended by them. Um, I sort of like the whole mission statement and everything um, that they that they don't want to like mass market their beer. And I'm going to respect that by coming here. Could have easily drunk this ages ago and not gone through this effort to get it. But um, yeah. If they don't want you to, then they don't want you to, and I think we should respect that. On a completely unrelated note to the brewery, there are so many bugs out here. Yeah, there's some really big gross ones. It's not been good. One nearly hit my eye. Yeah, I know. One got like stuck in my nose and there was one on my finger. 
It's really gross out here actually. There's so many bugs. Ah! Don't open my mouth, don't open my mouth, don't open my mouth. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot there in that one. I want you in the shot. Okay. You're the pretty one in the shot. Yeah. How was your cycle? It was okay. It was, it was okay. so buggy. It was very buggy, but it was really short. I was gonna eat a bug. But I didn't. Hmm. Well, we're here at Indiverde. Indiverde. And this is the only official place that you can try and buy um, West Vletteren. Yeah. West Vletteren. Mm. Mm. So we're gonna go in and try some because this is what the whole journey is been for. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Doesn't matter, I'll drink hers. I don't like beer. The beauty of this place is they also serve food so after a long cycle and before you get your delicious beer you can have a nice meal. And what we get here? Um, braised pork cheeks made in West Valachian 8. Mmm. I'm have to try that beer as well. But this might be my attempt to try it. No, is it 8 the blonde one? No, there's a blonde. So there's West Valachian 8. West Flatland Blonde and West Flatland 12 and 12 is the most popular one oh, okay. which, is, which is the one I'm going to try yeah. but I might get another one too This is it Yeah, this one is West Flatland 12 and this is their most famous one of them all the most well known one um, it's a quadruple I'm not sure what that means I guess it means a really strong beer you can tell by how dark it is dark that beer is. It almost looks like coke. It's that dark. And it smells it smells incredible. It's kind of like malty but like caramelly smell. And I'm gonna stop talking about it because I just need to drink it. Oh. Down. <coughs> Sorry. That is hands down one of the best beers I've ever had in my entire life. It's kind of, it's like really dark and heavy, but it's kind of sweet as well. It's kind of like, I could smell it, caramelly, and I don't know. It's definitely worth worth the trip coming all this way for it. One. This one is West Veteran AIDS, which isn't as strong as the um, the 12, but it smells fruitier. To me, to me, it smells like lollies. It smells like a bag of lollies to me. Mm. 
Yeah, it's definitely a fruitier flavour. Not as deep as what their 12 is. But I'd call it lighter, even though the colour looks very similar, it's actually a bit more red. So the percentage of this one is 8% and the percentage of the 12 is 10.2%. So it's obviously like a little bit, a little bit less alcoholic, still quite alcoholic, but I think it's definitely like a, it's a sweeter drink. Probably more easier to drink if you're not into like a really dark, heavy beer. But I prefer the 12, definitely prefer the 12, because I prefer darker beer. But you can drink this more often. They also have a blonde as well, which I'm not going to try because I actually have to cycle back. All the information is on this. Come on, camera. There we go. Right there. And there's no and labels. Notice with the bottles, there's no labels on it. All the information's on the cap. So you can't tell which one's which here. This one's the A. You can tell by smelling. And Sally's reaction of the West of Letteran 8. Smells the same. You don't smell the sweetness? The fruitiness to it? No. It smells like beer. It tastes the same. It tastes the same? It tastes like a strong beer. It's really beery. Great.